Hello everyone. Hello. This is Cinematic Metal Band Cartagena from Tunisia. I'm Nesrin, I'm the vocalist. And I'm Seth, the guitar player of the band. And we are gathered here today after being invited by Global Metal Apocalypse to answer some questions for you. Now, we have to admit that uh, fortunately we didn't have any concerts or shows scheduled for the band during this year because we've actually started focusing on writing new music instead. Um, but of course, we can't deny that it has been quite stressful, especially especially at the beginning. Yeah, because it was too too stressful. Yeah, it could, it could, caused by uh, the virus uh, coming. Yeah, the situation was horrible. World. We yeah. were. <laughs> I mean, I personally was freaking out. Anyway, but we of course we didn't have a choice. We had to we had to keep our focus. To we had to do our best to to stay to stay cool to um, to cope with the whole crazy situation. Uh, because, you know, especially not, we, we cannot especially lose our motivation for, for, the, for the new album. I mean, which is, by the way, in its recording phase right now. Yeah, we're on the uh, recording phase and something very special is coming. Yeah, stay tuned for that, by the way. <laughs> now, luckily, the current health situation in Tunisia is considered stable and since May May 4. May 4, yeah. The Tunisian government actually started to partially lift the lockdown through a strategy of three phases. So yes, now we're almost fully back to normal. Mm -hmm. Almost. Yeah. By the end of uh, a April? Yeah, a April. A April, yeah. yeah. The, the government uh, has identified the sectors involved in the first phase. In particular, those which are economically threatened, such as transport, uh, health, food, self-employment, artisans, and, and services in general. But, of course, authorities kept insisting on urging citizens to stay as vigilant as possible and to respect hygiene measures, no matter what the situation is. All of that was largely due to early preventive measures. Included a near shutdown of international travel, mandatory quarantines for those entering the country, and a strict nationwide lockdown and a curfew. Mm -hmm. However, as global cases uh, began to climb in uh, in March, by the uh, mid March, I guess, yeah. uh, Tunisia had had all the reasons why to freak out and to hurry by taking quick decisions to to be able to confront the pandemic simply. Uh, considering the fact that it is a host to thousands of international travelers and, and residents, and it's also located just across the Mediterranean Sea from Italy, which was an early virus hotspot, uh, Tunisia really, really feared it could be the next to, to suffer a major wave of infections that, that would have pushed its already fragile healthcare system to a breaking point. Yeah, so we really did well by taking the right measures as soon as possible and as quickly as possible, which hopefully allowed us to beat this hell of a crisis and gradually get our lives back. Yeah, unfortunately, it has definitely affected all of the sectors, especially the music industry, which is sadly going to be the last one to be fully restored after the government's decision taken months ago which consisted of suspending all kinds of cultural activities. Mm, yeah, speaking of cultural activities, uh, recently the Ministry of uh, Cultural Affairs actually finally announced the reception of festivals and artistic events in, uh, in open spaces in general. From, uh, it's going to be from July, 15th, July, 15th of July. July 15th, right. with, uh, with the usual capacity, of course, and uh, by taking precautions in accordance with a health protocol specifically released for this type of, uh, of activities. However, we, we can already see our musician friends and colleagues getting back to perform in, uh, yeah, in, in bars and lounges, and uh, including a few metal bands. So yeah, metal never dies. <laughs> we all need to be strong. 
so strong we have to yeah, do obviously us metalheads already are yeah are <laughs> yeah but uh but yeah we have to maintain that strength and to stay positive as much as we can uh we don't want to let anything take our passion away from music and no matter what we will always keep making music for you guys anyway uh, we hope to see you soon and to rock the stage when the situation gets better. So my message for you guys is to stay tuned for the new chapter of Cartagena. Yeah, also don't forget to stay safe and, and to stay metal! metal.